right, let's get started. So our first presenter is Tom Crawford. Um, he's built an uh, iPhone app called Happy Hour. Um, welcome. Thank you, Kyle. Um, so, I had a problem. I wanted to find a cheap drink near me right now, and to figure that out was nearly impossible. So I decided, as all good you know, this would do, is let's go look for an app or a website or something to do with that. So I did, and lo and behold, there was one. The problem with this particular app is that it's slow to load, takes minutes in some cases, has a difficult UX to use, and is kind of ugly, actually. In addition, the, it has a lot of extraneous features. Like, if I'm looking for a cheap drink right now, I really don't care about Coke Check. That's not really my priority in the things that I'm looking for. And then the thing I am looking for, maybe a martini, is buried under drink specials. So it's going to be mixed with all the other drink specials in there. Of course, there are websites out there. Um, both of these, um, that's a national website. The middle one is actually a local website, I believe done by some B-School students uh, a couple years ago. Um, the problem with those, of course, with any website is they don't work offline. So if you're not accessing the internet at that moment, it's a problem. And both of those, neither website is actually mobile enabled. And a problem with almost all of them is they're not up to date. They often work on crowdsourced data, which in itself isn't a problem until you start to look at the list when there are four Connor O'Neill's happy hours going on at the same time with the same stuff. That's a problem because different people, one person submitted with, uh, without Irish Pub. Later down in the list, they say a much longer name. So that becomes a problem. The data doesn't ever get verified. So I decided to fix that and create my own app called Happy Hour Deals. And here's a couple snapshots. We'll do a demo here in a second. You may wonder, since this is the question most people ask, how we get our data, we call everybody. We pick up the phone and we call every single bar and restaurant and ask them what their happy hour is. Now you may say, well, what about Yelp? Yelp has tons of data and they do have happy hour hours, but they don't tell you what the deal is. And if later we want to do rankings of our own, we can't do that because Yelp would be in violation of their agreement. It turns out, though, it is a good place to at least look up locations, as well as the Yellow Pages and Google Maps. And interestingly enough, for Michigan, the Michigan Liquor Commission turns out to be a great source of information for where everybody who has a license. Of course, you also get you know, a liquor store, which doesn't count in here. Um, the websites, it turns out, are out, out of date, almost all of them. Very rarely do bar and restaurant owners update their websites, which is kind of sad. Um, but it's turning out another place we can also get data is the Convention and Visitors Bureaus who are more than willing to gather all the information and submit it for us so that we can then put it in the app and they promote their businesses. So that's starting to work very well for us as well. You may wonder how we make money. Uh, the first way we're making money is off featured listings. In Ann Arbor at 4 o'clock on a Tuesday, there are 41 happy hours within a mile. <coughs> So there are options, and you are buried in the middle of the list if you're a bar owner or a restaurant owner. So wouldn't it be great if you could pop to the top? So we do that for them. Future possibilities include uh, highly targeted marketing, uh, including special events, one day, one hour promotions, proximity based, doing additional consulting and also licensing the data or licensing the API as well. So we're looking at those, but right now our primary method is uh, featured listings. <laughs> So for those of you who are new to A2 New Tech, one of the common things that gets asked is, what's your ask? Why are you here? So here's what we want. We want downloads. So please download it right now. And in fact, for the first person who downloads it today, gets a wonderful t-shirt just like this. Um, so shout it out when you get it downloaded. If you already had it downloaded, you don't count. So for those of you who know me, you're on the First single download. There's no single. Oh, there is. Yeah, certainly Wi-Fi. It's open. Put your email address in, and you can jump on the Wi-Fi. M guest. Um, number two, like us and share us on Facebook. We do have a Facebook page. Number three, tell everybody you know. This only works when more people are on it. So tell all of your friends. Oh, you're not at the top of the list. How do I find you? Happy Hour Deals. Ah. Happy Hour Deals is the name of the app. Uh, we'll be number two if you search. No, that's a great question. Um, we can get to that in questions too. Um, how do, we need a good salesperson. That's top of our list. So if you know anybody who's looking for work, we've got active work they can do. And use it, have fun, and you know, uh, 
save some money. So let's get to the demo since that's what you probably want to see. Make sure you can all see that. Yes. All right, so it works pretty straightforward. If you want to see the happy hours for any particular day, you can look that up, or you can just say today and now, and you get the ones that are right now. By default, within uh, a mile, I had set it to five earlier. So right now, there are uh, seven happy hours. With This is actually set at the corner of State and Liberty right now on the simulator. So there are seven happy hours going on right now in Ann Arbor. Um, if you said, well, you know what, I want wine, there you go. You can search and just get the wine ones, too. So that takes us to questions. This is, by the way, version 1.1, 1 1, which comes out as soon as Apple approves it. It was submitted last night. Oh, thanks. So, questions. Are there any questions? I'm pretty sure I, I downloaded the app for the yeah. first one. You would be the first one. Let me up after and we'll get your shirt. All right. Thank you. How are you going to scale? How are you going to scale? Well, um, it is a tough problem when we're calling each place individually, but it's not all that hard because it takes only three or four minutes once you get somebody to get each location. So I can have one person do, and we've proven this because we've got you know, several thousand uh, deals on here now. Um, we can get about uh, 100 a night, which covers, because we can only call at night too, you've got to call when the bars and restaurants are open and many of them get open until four or eight. So we can do 100 or so a night, maybe a bit more, and keep it updated that way. And the featured listings more than cover the price to hire staff to do that. So high school and college interns on the phones. Other questions? Yeah. Uh, just updated and it tells me you have 308 businesses, 349 locations, and 2,400 deals. So That is correct. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you, do you usually share that with your customers? <laughs> sure, um, why not? I want you to know that more and more places are getting online and joining. Okay, so, how, <laughs> how much, like, how much traction have you gotten with the selling the featured listings? Our I'm company, sorry, well, with I the featured, the oh. Um, how much traction have you gotten with the featured listings? They're actually selling really well. Um, and that's why we're confident we can bring a salesperson on and actually support that through it. So we're very, very excited with where that's going. Although, honestly, if you want my true opinion, I think in the long term, the other options are going to be dramatically bigger as far as revenue. But for a short term, getting it up to people quickly, that's a, it's a great way. Um, Savas and Babo were the first to jump on, which was great. They, have now exclusivity in Ann Arbor for a few of their happy hours, so that's great. Yeah. So I've thought about this idea before. I even went as far as going to buy AnnArbor.com. Um, but my problem is that a lot of these deals uh, don't give you any context as to what they're, they're doing. For example, half off draft beer. Well, what does that really mean? Like half off of $10 is five, half off of Ashley's three dollars is one fifty. I can't sort by how drunk I can get. In the <laughs> <laughs> it's a I mean, you're question. drunk. You can't sort at all. <laughs> Especially if you consider the difference between the um, South U bars and the Main Street bars in the Arbor, right? The, the prices are pretty much dramatic. But the the where I came down on that issue, and it was a it's a great question. The reality is, if I'm going to Venology, I'm probably not going to Charlie's. Those are really two different bars and two different price ranges. I'm going there for different reasons. So from that standpoint, I'm looking for the deal at the bars that I would normally go to. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter as much as a absolute price, which is what you're actually suggesting. So we chose not to do absolute price because prices change too frequently. That was another. Have you uh, thought of getting taxi, uh, taxi signed up for this so <laughs> they would uh, charge to have them appear on there? Um, so yeah, sir, taxis, hotels are another good one. Um, every the convention and visitors bureau in town because they deal with all the guests coming in. Anyway, anybody who needs to get in and around town, those type of people are perfect targets for this. Now, the taxis more to use this to show them where to go, where suggestions to make to take their people. But oh, did you know there's a happy hour at Charlie's right now? Yeah. 
I know a lot of the other apps you built, so I think I already know the answer to this, but is there any plan to ever have this on Android? Yes, as a matter of fact, yeah, there is. The yeah, gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are looking at the Android development right now. We're pricing it out, um, checking the time frames, making sure it's all ready, but there will be an Android version of this. The only question is the timing. Can I ask a follow up? Please. Uh, is it like, did you do this in like Objective C or did you use This is all thing? native code. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> all native. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Please download it.